That was a good win tonight, Coach. It seemed like a really good team win where you got some significant contributions from different guys uh, at different times. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we talked this morning, you know, how we, uh, we made sure there weren't any lids on the basket. 15 for 34 from three. I'm happy. These guys are happy. Um, they deserve a win like this on a back-to-back, -back. you know, especially playing at home and losing a tough one last night. You fly in for one game, you know, it can go either way. Um, but we got a resilient group in there. And hitting eight of those threes in the first quarter, how much did that help just kind of get things going? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a big, you can take a deep breath, you know, not too deep a breath because you have the rest of the game. But, um, you know, our guys were, they were locked into what we wanted to do today. And um, that's going to, you know, I know they're getting guys back, but, you know, that's a good Detroit team that's well coached. And um, they got a lot of good things coming. So this is going to, we're going to look back on this and say this is a great win for us. I think the key has been with Andrew and his consistency because we've seen it before where he's had, you know, he's obviously had good games before, but he's done it for, I think, maybe six games in a row now. Uh, what's the, the biggest key? It's just him and his mindset and how he came into this season. Um, I mean, every every good thing that happens to Andrew, Andrew deserves because Andrew, you know, Andrew does work hard, and he had a different mindset this summer in every conversation that was had. Um, so all the credit goes to him uh, for buying in and um, really delivering for us. Uh, Carl seemed to kind of get back, back on track, at least efficiency-wise tonight. Did you, did you sense that maybe he needed, after the break, a, a couple games to get back under his feet? Or yeah, whatever? yeah, I do, I do, and um, that was to be expected. Um, you know, but it's almost laughable that we were talking about the guy was not playing great and he was still getting 25, what was it, 25 and 14? I mean, it, you know, he's a talent. Uh, Jake Wayman tonight, 16 points, 6 to 9 shooting. How well does he kind of complement what you want yeah. to do offensively? He's just, he's everything you want as a coach. He's everything you want in a guy in terms of he's a ball mover, he's a floor spacer, and he's a hard playing guy. I mean, he, he just does whatever it takes um, to win. He gives himself up for the team. Um, you know, I could go on and on about Jake. I don't got enough time. Uh, you can go on and on as much as you want. Um, with, with him and Trivia, it seemed like whenever Detroit was making a run tonight, those guys especially came up with some big buckets, uh, especially in the second half. Um, how much trust do you have in them to, to in moments like that? I got a lot of trust in them, and, and it was, you know, you look at, kind of the balance of our minutes too. I mean, you know, yeah, Andrew ended up playing 36. You know, Cat played 30 with some foul trouble. Jake obviously played some heavier minutes because we were trying to, um, you know, balance some things out with uh, in the second half with some guys who played some heavier minutes last night. But, you know, we got guys in the 20s and then, you know, guys in the high teens and they all contributed and that's what we love. And, you know, Jake and uh, Trevion are no different. Gorgie was one of those guys too, especially in the first half. How big of a lift did he give you? Yeah, it seems like we say that a lot, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just happy for Gorgie because, um, you know, as a coach, one of the hardest things is, but it's a problem you want is that you have a lot of guys who deserve minutes, and that's what we have on this team. And you know, there was a, a stretch there where Gorgie wasn't getting um, minutes, uh, but he stayed ready, and he's producing when we put him in. With Carl doing more playmaking, is that just better recognition or are you putting him in some different positions to make those passes? Uh, all of our, our offense is based off reads and, you know, where the ball goes. Uh, we make some calls, you know, when we want to get a specific action um, or spe try to get a specific shot or the ball in one or two players' hands. Um, but Carl's reading and he's, you know, he's focusing on that and he's, uh, he's been, you know, very good so far this year, and um, you know, we're, we're just happy that that he's really buying in. Look like Robert's eye was half swollen shut. Yeah. How's he doing? Uh, it seems okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I ask him? <laughs> it seems okay. Is Jake kind of one of those guys that you you call sets for, especially when on, on some of those catch and shoot three yeah. situations? Yeah. As a, as a coach, you want to have guys. Um, that you can run off screens. Um, that loosens up the defense, so it doesn't have to be pick and rolls. And uh, Jake gives us that option. Thank you.